Hey guys, how's it going? Mr Mitchell here. In this video we're going to go over four worked examples to show you how to do problems involving irradiance. Now if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic and that way you can apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get started. Question 1 says the light from a 40 watt light bulb is instant on solar panels with a surface area of 0.5 meters squared. Find the irradiance. Well writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find the irradiance I. We know that the power P is 40 watts and the area A is equal to 0.5 meters squared. So writing down our equation relating irradiance, power and area, we have I equals P over A. Substituting in the numbers gives 40 divided by 0.5 and you can either do that in your head or put it into your calculator, but regardless you should get an answer of 80 watts per square meter. Question 2 says a lamp illuminates a screen of area 2.0 meters squared, which is 4 meters away. The irradiance at the screen is 0.02 watts per square meter. Calculate the power of the instant beam. Well, writing down what we know from the question this time, we're trying to find the power P. We know the irradiance I is equal to 0.02 watts per square meter and the area A is equal to 2.0 meters squared. So writing down our equation, we have I equals P divided by A. Substituting in the numbers gives 0.02 is equal to P divided by 2.0. So to get P on its own, we just need to multiply both sides by 2.0. And if you put that into your calculator or just do it in your head, you should get an answer of P equals 0.04 watts. Question 3 says a bulb has a power rating of 24 watts and emits light on a flat surface with an irradiance of 0.6 watts per square meter. Part A says to calculate the area of the surface. Well, writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find the surface area A. We know the irradiance size is equal to 0.6 watts per square meter and the power P is equal to 24 watts. So writing down our equation relating irradiance, power and area, we get I equals P over A. Substituting in the numbers gives 0.6 equals 24 divided by A. And if we multiply by A on both sides, we'll get rid of this fraction and that would give us 0.6A is equal to 24. And then to get A on its own, we then need to divide both sides by 0.6. 0.6. So from 24 divided by 0.6 in your calculator, you should get an answer of A equals 40 meters squared. Part B then says, how far from the bulb was the measurement made? Well, firstly, we need to remember that the light emitted from a lamp or bulb will be in the form of a sphere. So we should be thinking of the area of a sphere here. So if we use our equation for the area of a sphere, which remember is on your relationship sheet, we have A equals 4 pi r squared. And because we've just worked out the surface area, we can use that in the equation here, but we're trying to find the unknown distance r. Because remember r is the distance from the point source to the edge of the sphere, which is also the same as the radius of the sphere. So substituting in our numbers here, we have 40 is equal to 4 pi times r squared. And then if we divide both sides by 4 pi, we get r squared equals 3.18. And if you then take the square root of both sides in your calculator to get r on its own, you should get an answer of r equals 1.8 meters. Lastly, question 4 says to calculate the irradiance of a 60 watt lamp at a distance of 3 meters. Well, notice that we have a power and a distance rather than a surface area, so we can't go straight into using the equation I equals P over A because we don't know what A is yet. So we need to use this distance in order to find the surface area, and then we can plug it into the equation I equals P over A. So we can say that first we need to calculate the area of the surface illuminated by the lamp. And remember the light emitted from a lamp or bulb will be in the form of a sphere. So we can use our equation again for the area of a sphere, just like in question 3. So we have A equals 4 pi r squared, and we're trying to find A this time. So let's substitute in our distance of 3 meters, which remember is the same as the radius of the sphere. So we can say this is equal to 4 pi times 3 squared. And if you put that into your calculator, you should get an answer of 113 meters squared. And now we can calculate the irradiance using our equation. So writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find I. We know that the power P is 60 watts from the question and the surface area A that we just worked out is 113 meters squared. Writing down our equation, we now have I equals P over A. Substituting in our numbers gives 60 divided by 113. And if you put that into your calculator, you should get an answer of 0.53 watts per square meter. That's all for this video, folks. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video one of these, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.